must be the secret. This is a V10, 5.7 liter, naturally aspirated, uh, in, in, in an M6. Um, it makes 628 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque, naturally aspirated. Great car to drive, real exciting. Uh, easily goes 200 miles an hour from a standing start in one mile and then back to zero again. Not that I have any experience of doing that, but it has happened. <laughs> and it also has dining colder intake, exhaust throttle bodies, all the dining parts that wind up in a dining car, as well as the dining suspension, wheels and tires, um, and brake system from Brembo on the car. So really neat car way around. Uh, Supercar level on the lines of a Ferrari 599 GTB. Uh, probably about $100,000 less money than the Ferrari and probably a little faster and more reliable, but on the same level of performance. This is a CNC block boring machine. You write a program here, and it bores every cylinder to exactly the dimension you have. Now, the reason it's important that it's in-house is the type of bit and the speed in which the bit turns determines whether or not the material is going to get damaged as it's cut. Speed's very important. This is what's called an oleosil block. It's a high content of silicon in it, and those silicon nodules can easily get torn out by the cutting bit if it's cut at the wrong speed. So, we used to farm this sort of thing out years ago and we had problems with the quality, so we brought it in-house to ensure the quality was, was right, having it done the dining way, as we say here inside the company. By the way, all these processes, we started perfecting back in our Daytona prototype engine. We used oleosil in the prototype engine instead of using a steel sleeve or nicosil, because when the oleosil is smoother, the piston glides and has less friction, and the ring seal better and there's less blow by. So a lot of this research actually started in our racing program prior to building the engine for the street car. The technology that we learned in the racing gave us the confidence to move on into the streetcar development program, giving us the impression that we could make an engine that would last a long time and make a lot of power. In the past, Dynan's been famous for a lot of bolt-on supercharger kits, turbo kits, and we've done some engines in the past, but not very many. But the engine shop, the engine technology of Dynan has progressed a lot over the last 10 years, and we think we're capable of undertaking this kind of pass now. So we went ahead and took that technology and applied it to racing to prove that we could. And once we verified that we had that technology down, then we moved into the streetcars as well.